Okay, so for today, we're going to jump right onto the computer. I wanted to share with you a uh, tip sheet that I created. It's a simple tip sheet. Uh, you might know there's multiple different tip pulling systems. Of course, you have the straightforward where all the money goes into one pot and then each um, staff member is taking a percentage out of that pool. And that is the style that this tip sheet is in. Uh, there is also the tip pool system where uh, the server takes the majority of their tips uh, home or keeps the majority of their tips and then tips out a percentage to a pool which the support staff will be taking from. That one's a little bit more complicated. This one is just a simple uh, weekly tip, bro tip sheet with a payroll um, included in it. So let's hop right in. <clears throat> so this is made for a very small team, uh, the team about 10 that this was made for. So the first page we're going to look at, our first tab, is going to say back office here. It's at the very end. Um, here you have different columns with different positions. Currently, my team has uh, servers, assistants, and bartenders. We don't have uh, captains or anything like that, no sommeliers. Uh, it's very simple uh, setup. So we have three servers, let's say Amy, John, Victor, Amber, and Jess is our bartender. Uh, so you just would fill that in there and it automatically populates on the daily tip sheet. So let's say we're jumping over to Monday lunch over here. You can see the names already popping up here. Uh, so this is two, four, five. Uh, fits five servers in this. You could easily add in more slots if you needed. So that would be the first step into setting this uh, tip uh, sheet up, would be inputting the employee names in there. Uh, second would be you would go up here on Monday lunch. You would enter in the date. Um, so the first date, day of that uh, pay cycle. Now that is made so it automatically populates every other page. Um, to match. So Monday is the 11th, so that means Tuesday is going to be the 12th, Wednesday the 13th, and so on. Basically, all the green areas are the parts that I have for the managers to fill out, aside from going up here. The only area I didn't mark was the manager up here. I think it just kind of slipped my mind, it's not necessarily uh, intentional. But you would just go up here, let's say uh, manager's name is bill okay so we would go in here and let's say monday amy worked she gets 12 points john worked he gets 12 points victor left early so he's getting eight points um amber the assistant gets uh seven points the bartender makes uh 12 points as well now you would go on this side the system i have set up for this for is basically the bartender is going to be handling all the cash sales so basically the servers will be taking any receipts with cash from the guest to the bar the bartender will close it out and put the money in the till so he's acting as our cashier as well so here you would enter in your starting balance of the till if there's any additional uh, cash sales so so let's say there's 210 dollars in cash sales Let's say the bartender had to go out and buy $5 worth of lemons. So the end of the night, the till should have $705. So he would then count the till. And if it matches, then this area will be blank. If he's under, it'll show that he's under. Or if he's 7 and 10, he's over, etc. Continuing on down, this will be the total tips from all the staff members of that night. Um, these are credit card tips. So you would go ahead and enter in um, credit card tips of 500 and cash tips were say $60. So that's automatically being populated here. It'll show you how much each individual made and you would just continue to do this day after day. Then if you go all the way down here to the end, you have a total cash tip summary here. So some of the days were already populated. I was kind of playing around with it, verifying it works. So you have the staff members here, and for each shift that there were cash, 
it shows up and it'll give you a total for the week. So what basically you can do is you print this out and you would give it to your tip captain or whoever's um, assigned to not only count but hand out the uh, cash tip. You would print this out and they would be able to go off of this. On the next tab you have total credit card tips. So this is just to verify how much was made every day um, for each position. Total summary there. Have a cash tip verifier. So this is, you can also give the tip captain this. Basically, he will enter, enter in the actual tips. So uh, let's say Monday, the total cash tips was $60. So he would open the envelope or however, whatever means you have to save the tips. We use envelopes. So basically, the bartender puts, or the servers each put their cash tips into envelope, put the amount, sign it, and those go into the safe until the end of the week. He can come in here and say that, okay, yes, there was indeed $60, and then the variance will be zero. Let's say if it's off, it's under, it'll give you the variance there. Then this part is more for the manager side. So at the end of the week, um, we do the same with the cash, uh, basically, any cash sales go into envelope and they go into the safe at the end of the week uh, the GM will go through and basically just verify that all the cash is there lastly we have payroll here so this is a very simple payroll sheet it has all the staff members total amount of points accumulated that week total cash tips total credit card tips and total payroll so this total payroll I set up just in case um, we started to put cash tips in the paychecks. So that was just an additional put there. Otherwise, the accountant will be able to go in, add 381.51 for Amy here, go into the POS, look at the uh, clocking sheets, see how many hours she worked, add those together, and that's her paycheck. Well, hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, I'll leave you a link in the description down below for uh, to download this if you want to play around with it or if you want to use it. If you have any questions, leave a comment below or DM me. If you want to use it, go right ahead. Make Please do make sure to click like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll catch you later.